Sundar Raj, the priest of Unto Diocese, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am a priest for the past 30 years. I have worked in several parishes in the capacity of parish priest, social service center as a director and in the educational institutions. So I am very happy about my Christian life because God has chosen me to be his instrument to give peace, joy and love to the world as preached by Christ. I am very happy with my ministry because God has given me the opportunity of serving his chosen people. Now to say about the love that I experienced in my life. I have been living a peaceful life and a life of joy and peace. God created the world in His love. In His love, out of love for us, He created mankind. We all belong to the mankind that is created by God. Jesus, He has manifested His love first in the creation. God created everything for our sake. He wanted the man to be in peace and to have love and give the same love to all the people that we meet in our day-to-day -day life. In the creation, right from the beginning, from Adam to Jesus Christ, we are experiencing the love of God. Though Adam with his sinfulness failed and was tempted and has brought the sinfulness upon us, yet we experience the love of the first human being. Jesus Christ created as a son of God. He has created and entrusted everything for our care. That's the love we received from Jesus Christ. In the creation, we see everything so wonderful. Everything is for us, for our sake. God has created us. The earth, the oceans, the stars, the human beings, the environment and everything we enjoy here on earth is the love of God for man. He wanted man to enjoy and to experience his love. That love he has manifested us through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came to this world as a human being and he said God so loved, loved the world that he sent his only begotten son to redeem all of us. Yes, that is what we celebrate today, the Christmas. Out of love for us, Jesus has come to this world to give us his love and to manifest his love through us to the fellow creatures. We have to experience that love and give and manifest that same love to our neighbors. <coughs> Jesus said, love yourself and also love as I have loved you. We expect others to love us. That same love we should also give to the fellow brothers who are also of the same creation that God has created them. So unless we experience the love of God 
we cannot uh, give our love to our neighbors that's why jesus said whatsoever you do unto me you do to the others also he said when i was hungry he did not feed me when i was thirsty he did not give me any drink like that whatever you do unto your brother you do unto me so that's the love he has shown us and he wants us to give the same love to outpour the love to our our fellow brothers in our day to day life we fail to recognize this and we are with our selfish motives we have our own kingdoms we limit ourselves to our day to day our routine work we don't see what is happening outside we don't see we don't observe the problems or listen to the cries and uh, sufferings of our fellow brothers we the priests anointed by christ we feel that we are above the human beings we feel that we have everything and we have the right to command these people and we don't show this love wherever it is expected from us thus we are limited to our dust and we administer the sacraments or whatever it may be the daily mass and so on with limited knowledge we don't see what is happening outside sometimes the people who are in other services are better than the priests or the life they choose is wonderful life they inflict in their behavior and so on so with the priests not only limit ourselves to the routine work but we should go out and experience the work that the people are doing they are doing better work than us what we do is evangelizing and uh, trying to bring people to the church with that we are satisfied mere evangelization nor compelling the people to attend mass or to make some spontaneous prayers is not just enough it is we have to live and we have to experience their life and live with them and give our life our love to them then only <coughs> we will experience the real love of god the real love of god means if we don't don't analyze or <coughs> listen to the problems or show concern towards the human miseries the sufferings where do we we stand let us let me examine myself and go out or um, do some god's work which is pleasing to him god does not expect from us the mere service the mere routine work he expects from every one of us and even the priests to go out he said go out preach instruct them give them whatever they need nowadays people need not our prayers not our preaching but they need our support and concern and our sympathy wherever it is necessary so let me analyze that our task is not only preaching not only uh, administering the sacraments not only offering the daily mass but it is much more beyond that go and live the life that christ has lived he has listened to the cries of the people he has lived with them he has shared their feelings he has given their love and he has outpoured his friendship like a fellow human being that is was what is expected of me though i am a priest of 30 years if i examine myself i feel that i have done a little only there is much to be done by me to experience the love of god and to give out the same love to whoever 
are in need of it. Then only the real task which is given to me will be fulfilled and thereby I am a <coughs> priest dedicated to my life and dedicating to the service of God. That should be my motto and not only mere obedience but our obedience should be to the task of listening to the problems of the people, being with them, solving them and trying to help them what is required when they are in need. So that is my intention and that is my <coughs> conscious that I should examine myself and do the work of God. So I am happy to be a priest and I want to dedicate myself and live the life of God that is lived in me through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ through the Eucharist He feeds me and He gives me the love and He says I am with you, I am always with you. Give the same love to the people who are under your care. Now as I am a correspondent of the school, as Jesus said, let the little children come to me. That little children should experience the love of God through my acts or my deeds. That is what is given to me, the task that I have to carry on. Not only just doing the routine work, but much more I have to dedicate myself and um, please the God by doing His service. So I am happy that I am given this opportunity of exposing myself and feeling my thoughts, how I am able to exercise my duty as a priest. Am I performing my duty just as a, a routine life or am I acting as the servant of Jesus Christ who has chosen me and who has entrusted me his work to be a priest, the anointed one, go and preach. As he said, the apostles went out and preached and they spread the kingdom of God through their words, through their deeds and through performing the miracles that Christ has performed by their sincere prayers and faith in Jesus. Faith alone will help me. Faith alone will save me. Faith will alone lead me to the salvation. That is my understanding, that is my conception and I want to live that faith and do my ministry in the vineyard of in the kingdom of God.